game, and they definitely want a hero for Quinn that moves around the map. He's playing with such little HP in this lane right now. If this is the first time you watch Clink's this patch, by the way, don't be fooled. It does look like when he shoots tar bombs that he has this like huge <laughs> cone. Uh, he does not. This is a. Uh, it's only hitting the target. Thirty-three will be oh, first blooded yeah. here. By and the way, and that's going to go to Duraccio of all heroes. This is a good Was not accounting for the half HP tower, and they used the fort. As Mickey already making a quick rotation to the top lane, Duraccio completely out of mana. You're going to see the leech seat on top of him as well. Pops the wand, but. Well, Shaq actually does not connect either way. Oh, uses the death pack blink to get out of arm's length, but it doesn't matter. McKay finds him in the end. And meanwhile, mid lane, oh, they got takes Nisha. out Nisha. Yeah, that dragon tail arrow combo. In the later stage of the tournament, we've seen doing, Doom doing quite a lot better. Dust onto Duracho. He's also doomed. Yep, mildly inconvenienced, though, as the TP comes in. Quinn not able to save his comrade as the Dark Rift is there from Ace and 33. Still pretty damn healthy. Pit of Malice applied to him into the Dragon Tail, so it's gonna be a double root. As he is now surrounded, although Insania is in the area, Celery flanking them from behind, and the Bramble is gonna... ...to not only defending their towers, but also enabling their heroes to go that little bit deeper. Farm lane Ace. Shackle. We got the Whirlwind effect as well. Duraccio makes his way over, though. The Pit of Malice on the two is Nisha gets a Sonic Wave off, destroys Ace. And Duraccio will have to try to flank here. Just try to get away walk. in that skeleton walk. Should be okay. Looks to be fine. So you got the other side. So Dragon Knight, not the highest damage output hero. Clinks will be going for the Deso first on Duraccio. Um, I guess Solar Flare is always going to provide you with damage. Uh oh, Tofu. Yep, he looks to be likely, although he's actually going to be able to leap away. Nish is the one in a lot of trouble. Duraccio actually gets the last hit there. Do they have nice detection gank. now for Boxy? Boxy picks up the invis, blood grenade applied. They have a sentry, Tofu. Yep, puts down another one, and that's gonna be the death of the support. So two quick kills for gaming gladiators. A very back and forth affair so far. I think it's going to be so important for Liquid to doom the clinks in particular that he might have to get it. Um, since that is going to be the deciding factor oh. in the fights. You have the Dragon Tail opening. Nice gank as Mickey is killed immediately. Yeah, Ace didn't even need to show up for that. They have so much damage just between their Mirana and DK, and that was without even having Solar Flare. Yeah, Duraccio has the Desolator, so these buildings will melt. Three, so that's a Crimson Guard complete in 300 gold. Uh oh, not again. Mickey. Mickey. Oh, into an arrow. the arrow hits. Do they have the damage? Centaur's Tom to follow. He's going to get the winner off along with the whirlwind. Insania is there for some moral support. Gets off the overgrowth, but it's not enough. Mickey falls again. Yeah, Celery Big attacking kill. there for 135 damage on Chen. I wonder why that is. Maybe Mirana pressed her ult and really getting there, but these two deaths back to back slows down Gleipnir significantly. Yep, Quinn going through the gate. He's going to meet 33. Duraccio was hounding him all the way. Already at half HP, trying to run away, but question is, will he? Nice blink from Quinn. Has a stun up in a few seconds. Is Duraccio? Okay, the Crimson Guard's going to buy him a little oh. bit of time. It's going to be close, though. A couple more right clicks will suffice. Still has a lot of move speed. Another phase boots activation. As meanwhile, Ace and Tofu die in the bot lane. And 33 finding a lot of distance here, attempting the TP. Looks like he's out of there. Wow, really tanky. Dead. <laughs> Who, who has a better lineup? I would say absolutely Radiant for me. Radiant? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think the support... Oh, hang on, Insania. Yeah, Let's do a dead. thought experiment. Where will he respawn in 30 seconds? It's a very philosophical question. Yeah, that is. Uh, Dragon Tail from Quinn. No, f very close to a kill, though, though, for Gaiman. That would have been really crippling for the Windrunner. Top two network, despite having these two deaths for Mickey. Yep. As Quinn's going to be found by Nisha and Insania, slow to a crawl. Dark Rift is coming, 33's there as well, gets off the Doom onto the Dragon. I know regen for you, Sonic Wave to follow. Looks like Quinn is likely going to fall no matter what. Now Ace trying to tank up as much as possible. A nice pit, he's going to get Curse Crown though. Onto the high ground, he should survive. Either way, game and lose Celery uh, on top of the original. Duracho okay. is... Duracho in the middle of nowhere, as usual. Will be dusted, using the Dark Pack to try to get away, but it's not going to be. Three dead for Gaiman, and Liquid coming out on top. Not in this stage of the tournament. I think this is the first time they... It's fair to... Okay, Dragon Tail into Arrow. This should be a freebie. Yeah, it will be. 
At this stage of the tournament, we haven't seen them challenge this much in the first 20 minutes. So this is already, already setting up for the counterplay because he's anticipating that Gaiman want to trade down bot. And if they're enough yeah, mass TP, Zoraccio gets hit by the Gleipnir. Whirlwind the Fall is doing a lot of damage to the creeps, but not so much the Clinks. And 33 finally jumps in, gets off the Doom just to ensure that the Clinks does die. But Quinn coming in with the Dragon Tail into the arrow. This is going to be enough damage to take out Mickey. It's going to be close. Yes, it's a one for one for the carries on each respective team. Big Terrorize coming out from the Dark Willow, though, as Quinn continues to right click on a 33, doing barely any damage. The Doom's so tanky at this stage of the game, as Insania is stuck in a oh horrible God. place. He gets evaporated. Nisha gets off the Sonic Wave, deletes Tofu in turn. So yes, two for haste. two. Nisha's so Foxy freedom around here. Got the Shadow Realm away. Ace and company looking like they might soft back here. Nisha very low on mana, as Quinn apparently wants to continue on against the Dragon Tail. Again, 33. <laughs> they are tickling at this stage of the game. Firestorm is a good opportunity to do some damage to him, though, inside that Pit of Malice as well. He pops the Crimson Guard, though. The Curse Crown is going to eventually activate. The Bedlam not going to be enough as Boxy is finally brought down by Quinn. So in the end, a 3 for 2 favor. Uh, wouldn't mind seeing that here, honestly. And that's not because, okay, Gaiman will plan for... Oh, hang on. All right. Everybody dodges everybody. Never mind. There's a Gleipnir. Yep, except for Tofu. Does get one leap off, but... And the Hand of God. Wow, they actually Hand of God. Yeah, that huh? is one important ult down now. That was a completely hopeless situation. He had zero leaps left. He was never getting out of that one, but... 33, Doom initiation. Nisha going to Shadow Strike to slow this Underlord to a crawl. This is eventually going to be the kill going the way of Liquid. Yep. So Liquid really on top of things in this game number one. And the Gleipnir now with the Whirlwind to follow. Mickey, with the health of Boxy, will take right. out Celery as well. So three dead. Damn, they're just bleeding out. They have the Aegis. Two tower there is. Now Liquid TP coming in. Liquid Remember, Quinn has the Aegis still. Oh, in his Dragon again. form, another blink away. Tofu, is he actually going to die just to Boxy? Yes, wow. That is unreal. He's going to fake out the Terrorize, run away, the Pit of Malice already on cooldown. So many things going right for Liquid. I was going to say, yeah, so smoke move, unsuccessful. They do place down a very nice aggressive ward in that bottom half of the map. They actually, as a matter of fact, have two down there. So if Liquid were to go down there and farm, get a good punish, they'll try 33. Dragon though. Tail, arrows coming for him as well. Do they have the damage to actually rip through him? The big Terrorize, though, to try to counteract this. Mickey with the BKB and the Whirlwind as well. The Doom applied to the Underlord, trying to run oh, away. Mickey. Mickey's the one getting deleted, though. Has to be really careful. Will eventually back away, just barely living as Nisha gets off a Sonic Wave onto two. Already deleted Ace to start this fight out. Overgoat's gonna hold him in place for Nisha to try and reset. Duracho kind of stuck in no man's land. Will use his ability to be able to blink away, but not far enough, it seems, trying to take out Mickey at the very edge of this fight. He finally gets taken out by Quinn, but it's going to cost Duraccio his life. It's a two for two. That's two cores for Gaming Gladiators down. Yeah, Gaming will try to pursue, though. Yeah, arrow. Quinn continuing on. The arrow is going to hit thanks to the Dragon Tail as well. Boxy coming in with the Bedlam, trying to take up as much damage as he can. Nisha getting off the Shivas. Is Celery attempting to run away? They're going to lose Boxy, though, on the Liquid side. Nisha very low on mana, but he's going to continue to pursue as Celery falls. Oh, they are using so many resources. And these fights, these are, fights so are so insanely close. close. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> the Aghanim Scepter. Puts the end to Tofu. Wait, was that Quinn actually killing him? <laughs> Did I see that right? Did that one come from the Dragonite, or was it from a... Or is he? Oh, yeah, you're right. He is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... A really good pit can cause a devastating opener for the side of Gaiman. On the other side, Overgrowth, Terrorize, really big spells. Even a key Shackle Shot, which is a spell I feel like we've barely seen this game. Oh, Nisha on the nice. cliff. He gets some vision, but they have vision. He's well. Whirlwind doing a lot of damage. Ace trying to get the hell out of there, but the damage is applied to Mickey. The Doom onto the Dragon Knight. 33 is the one actually being evaporated despite being the tankiest hero in this game. But Game and Gladiators, they lose Quinn. In trade is the Doom. It's already a four for one, and only Duraccio living through the day. Looks like he'll eventually be fine. But here, mm -hmm. in the last bit of time, got to keep that. It's like an extra mental note you need to keep in check, and these fights are very fast and very chaotic. Nisha, pushing out the wave. He has Aegis, so risk-reward here. 
Okay. Oh, they're actually going to try to jump Quinn, but he finds the distance. Although 33 going in really deep against the Doom and the Sonic Wave onto this Dragon Knight. Quinn is dead. Does not have the buyback whatsoever as Mickey taking a decent brunt of the damage, but Ace, he's taken out in his own base oh, as Mickey! well. Oh, Mickey eventually shot. falls. 80 oh. seconds of no winner. That's actually so big. If he doesn't die there, they could probably continue this push. I don't oh, know yeah. if they can now. Yeah. Maybe they still can. I mean, Nisha has two lives, and he is the strongest hero in the game, arguably. Yeah, a minute and a half on this Aegis. But no DK, no Underlord. Pretty huge for your defense here if you're gaming. As Nisha's going to jump in. Look at the damage onto the champ. But the arrow is going to connect. Again, there's two lives on this Quap. Terrorize comes out as Nisha wants to finish the job. Godlike for him. Delete Celery. The building's, though, not going down quite as fast, Cinderin. Yeah, their lineup is not good at pushing, just flat out. Even if Mickey, I mean, if Mickey's alive, they're obviously much better, but doesn't have focus. And that's a, that's a problem here, right? The game didn't actually even have that amount of damage to begin with. Right. Oh, boy. Nisha finds Shiva's Quinn. Power shot gives a little bit of vision. 33 and company will find Quinn in the trees. Sonic Wave expended just to make sure that he dies. It's a 25 second cooldown. He can use this for anything he wants on Nisha before it can drop. <laughs> That's true, actually, yeah. <laughs> Not this one. Trickster Cloak picked up by Celery. It's a little more defensive line for him. The Ancient Guardian on uh, Duracho could become important because... Oh, hang on. Oh, he gets dusted. Dust. Can they reach? 33 trying to go for him. Oh, the PKB comes out from Duracho. Pit him Alice to prevent any further pursuit. Well, Although Nisha can. wants to continue. Sonic Wave applied to only two. And Quinn will pop the Dragon for him. Nisha going in really deep. He's going to get Dragon oh, Tail. Oh. He's going to get 100 to 0. He's dead. Does have his buyback, though. You can see the Clinks finally goes down, though. Duraccio just melts. Buyback comes out immediately from Nisha. Mickey with the big whirlwind doing so much damage. Tofu will TP out, though, as 33 eventually will drop to Quinn. Surely blinks away to ensure the kill. So it's a three for two, I believe, with a buyback coming out from Nisha. Nisha knows that if he were to get killed there, they have to drop absolutely everything on him, and he can buyback TP. Specifically. Easily has the mana to use it with the Octarine that he bought earlier. Liquid. Keeping their composure here. This is... E the vision is everything here. He looks at Quinn. They look at each other. Quinn gets the stun off first. Pops the BKB. Sonic Wave onto two, though. The Doom onto Quinn. Oh, he tries to get the high ground. Whirlwind with the overgrowth combination. Just shredding these heroes on Gaming Gladiator's side. Quinn is going to be next. Because he was doomed at the beginning of the fight. They're going to buy back in mass. But 33, he might be the first to fall for Liquid. He's on the other side of the trees. Tofu eventually, no! He actually lives on Doom some way, somehow. And only one member of Game and Alive, and it's the Underlord. And this is a Roche for Liquid. That was completely clean. They offer up the Doom and even have the banner here. So this wave. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty nice placement. Now the creeps. tier 4s are next for Liquid, trying to take this game number one here in the upper bracket finals. Quinn up in 15 seconds. Clink's in 15. They're going to lose at least one tier four, maybe both, with the Ancient being fully exposed. We might see a big team fight here. 33 jumps in. You can see the whirlwind. Mickey is just shredding everybody. The Doom applied to Ace as well. He's dead. No buyback. Celery's next. And now, again, it's going to be three versus five. Just a two different heroes dead this time around for Game and Gladiators. Quinn jumping in with one last ditch effort will pop the BKB. Duracho doing a lot of damage to Nisha, but he's just going to shrug it off because he has that second life in the Aegis. Oh, big damage here. Burning Nisha. Rush doing quite a bit. Aegis. Aegis still intact. 33, not able to get the hooks off of the overgrowth. Onto two. Do they have the damage to finish these heroes off? Looks like the Marana is dead. GG is called. Liquid take game number one. Yeah, Which no. is exactly what we wanted to see a close game center. I think we saw that this time around. Yeah. Soon as to where they want to put it. I also see as this game gets later, I wouldn't mind seeing Tofu get back and get some stacks up. Because that's the other thing that Primal can really uh, accelerate his farm through and start looking super solid if you want to play more of the stack game. And now uh, there you go. Cogs are out. Power shot. Ace still feeling it. Very survivable. Oh! And he's so low and he goes down. Tofu with the last couple ticks, and he also manages to get out. Oh, he does it. The snipe! Oh, I, I have never cast a curse somebody that as was, quickly. That was actually impressive. <laughs> on Visage, it is not a tanky hero whatsoever. He will manage to pull these couple of creeps under tower for some safety, but once this wave dies, 
with no supporting cast to cover him. He has to be careful. And Ace with the turnaround up on that top lane. They thought going for that Wisdom Rune is going to cost him three creeps in the tower, though. Yeah. So, and not only that, now the wave is still back on the enemy side of the lane. So once again, Visage will have to find his Ooh. way down here alone. Good kill from Just Liquid. A little bit too greedy from Ace. Yeah, probably wasn't expecting that rotation from the. Not going to be able to force Tofu all the way away. Does secure. Uh, at least a rune up on the top side that's going to spawn, and Nisha should be able to get that one. It's a little bit close. Quinn's quick, but no. 33. Pops. He gets banished. They probably can't chase this. Chase Tofu, though. Right. <laughs> and Tofu in trouble. Now the turn, Boxy! Bit off more than he could chew. Nisha's trying to get out with the ace rotation. It looks like they're going to turn their sights onto Insania. 33 actually TPs into this. And now they're making the move on to Quinn, keeping him out of tower range. The TP is coming in from Shadow Demon. This is not going to be an easy kill. And in fact, after baiting the TP, now Liquid are going to be the ones that back on out. 33, another round of Soul Assumption can take down Celery. Yes, it is enough damage. So they lose both of those supports, and now they're bringing even more in. Mickey shows up. Now they take down Ace. Liquid bringing so many numbers, and the one hero that didn't end up making the swarm move all oh, the way Arrow! Arrow, it comes in! Never mind, Nisha's dead too! Bro, what's happening? Yeah, why, why are there like nine heroes mid? Yeah, th this is pretty crazy. So this is actually kind of a cascading effect of 33 having... The wave was in such a bad placement down bottom against the SD Muerta, and he had no supporting cast there, so he had to leave. So he just started going mid to find some sort of impact, and it turned into this huge fight. Now he's gonna die for it too. Another move underneath the tower. Gaming Gladiators not used to being down 1-0 in a series, but they're... For, as far as the supports go, nobody is really having a particularly standout game in terms of experience, with the exception of Tofu, who... Oh, hang on. Gotta That's a good curse that. right there. I mean, that He was is... having a good game until that... Okay, oh, maybe he's still... Oh, he's wait. still... No, he's still... <laughs> <laughs> Thought maybe I had another leap in his pocket, but no. So the reason I was looking at this was all the supports were level five except for Tofu, but now Celery will pick up his six. Wind Ranger went through. They're also going to bring yeah. the Shadow Demon through this one. So Mickey, if he does not get a read quickly, this is going to be an easy bring down. And yeah. I think with this Blink Dagger reveal, jump forward, stun. There's creeps in the way. He can't get the arrow in in time. And so Mickey lands the shackle and gets some separation. Now the hook shot, the turnaround. Sometimes farming keeps you alive as Mickey was not going to get hit by that arrow, and they're also going to bring down this Shadow Demon. Boxy makes a move forward. They give the kill over to 33. I mean, whether lucky or good, Liquid are just winning right there. Much better position in the game than prior. Now with this 14-minute wisdom, will Liquid actually make it in time? This is pretty close. I think they're too late. God, that is a big round of people running forward, and. Gonna find that kill onto Celery. Duraccio just put right now into these Ancients if Insania finds them. Off to the side, there's creeps in the way. Duraccio, does he realize who's nearby? The jump forward, hook shot in. They have the snowball, they have the kill. Liquid, just smelling blood in the water and going hunting. Yeah, are they gonna go to try to steal the stack as well? This is kind of slow with just puck and clockwork. Two heroes still over oh, to the Quinn's side. Oh, Quinn's gonna jump him. Instant drinking buddies. And now they go, trying to find what they can do. And the jump through coming from Ace Control, but immediately broken. Now Mickey goes in with that focus fire. Ace still trying to do what damage he can, but there's just not enough HP on Quinn to go for this fight. This is the other thing. I was talking about BKB on Primal, but you know, against these heroes, sometimes you also want to get that blade mail. Yeah. And he can't afford to get everything, so he has to make the team decision here of getting the jump. Nisha has eyes on Ace. They see him here again. The Wind Ranger moving into position. Two supports a little bit to the north. Can they get away on Ace? It's gonna just go for the TP out, but the snowball comes in in time. And again, in the grave. And in fact, it's the Visage that finishes the Crimson Guard first. He's now ahead of every Radiant Hero. Can you believe it? Just these couple of moves where Soul Assumption is involved. And 30's, 33's game is completely recovered. They even find Tofu, a little freebie there. And this is what you're talking about, the dangerous split push. Even without the clockwork, they fight together. Do they have enough damage themselves? Right. Well, maybe an opportunity here if you find the puck with the call a Nisha. Goes down, Duraccio gets the kill. That's what Gaming Gladiators needed. That's a really big one. Just something to break the map open a little bit, give you some space to get out. Maybe you can snowball off this slightly by at least getting...
near Nisha to cover him. And Ace seeing that there's some Lotuses being taken is going to go for the hunt now. Finding Boxy would be big, and he goes right on through him. Do they have some help nearby? It does look like it, and yeah, immediately going to be a disruption? Okay. Now, Celery there. They'll find this kill onto Boxy. And again, getting out on the map, helping. Now, does Boxy manage to deny out to Roche? Well, he's trying. Does he get a stomp? Maybe a stomp opportunity? No. Ace kills him off. Couple of kills found for gaming now. Mike is still farming up an absolute storm on this Wind Ranger level 16. Almost has BKB. Another Dragon Tail. And this is a it. tough one. Not gonna happen. No chance. And Nisha now shows back up. They're moving in. Power shot. Not quite enough. Disruption. Ace moves forward. Crimson Guard mitigating a lot of this damage. Trying to find anybody to jump onto. Duraccio trying to stand tall here too, but the magic damage coming through is just a little bit too much in the hit forward. Quinn not able to save, and now he might be in further trouble as well. And Sadie comes all the way out of nowhere, and the Cogs push back four dead. Liquid, they're just looking too good in this series. I mean, that is going to be the question, right? Like, if you're able to mitigate the damage, will Muerta be able to survive long enough to do what they need? Nisha just jumps in and immediately starts to get brought down. He jumped in, he can't get the snowball off. Oh, the calling, perfect answer to stop that Tusk from saving the puck. Now thinking about going for more, can they chase down Nisha? Nice this Gleibner. is a huge gift if gaming can find any more heroes at this point. Leading into the next one, so. Yeah, definitely keep a lookout for the puck to ramp up heavily in the coming fights. DKB from Huerta too, but of course that blink stun from DK won't factor in anymore, but they get the jump on him instead. Misses on the hook shot, and Duraccio standing tall. Now Nisha steps forward, knows that there's not much that can kill him. Do they have anything else that they want to throw out right now? There's the shackle shot. They need to keep that Muerta alive. Quinn trying to block damage, but it's not going to happen. Muerta's gone. Ace does not have what it takes to take down the rest of Liquid. They are way too strong, and they bought out for this fight. No buybacks for dead. Liquid, they're ready. They're moving. This game it's over. is over. It's just over. The tier four tower down has to jump away on Tofu. Arrows going down, but look at the drinking buddy Visage Birds. They're dropping so quickly. Tier fours are gone. They're not even going to get to respond. Team Liquid closing this one out. GG. Wow. I mean, a lot of people going into today would be like, oh no, it's Gaiman versus Liquid again. Gaiman historically are doing really good in this matchup against.